We are now joined by Joey Logano, driver of the number 22 Shell Pennzoil Ford. Joey, first of all, congratulations on your win last week at New Hampshire. And uh, with that win, you've now clinched your spot in the contender round of the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Uh, talk a little bit about what that win means and uh, clinching your spot and here at Dover. You've had some success, but uh, being here this weekend and uh, moving on. Yeah, it's nice to... Um you know, be able to get that win in my, my hometown or home area. Uh, we had a really big week leading up to that. Uh, we had a, a couple foundation events. We opened up a um, an extension basically to the Connection, which is a, a homeless community up in Middletown, Connecticut. So that was a great week leading up into Loudoun and then topping it off with a win that was uh, kind of a dream weekend I'll never forget. So, uh, you know, excited about getting back here to Dover. Uh, probably one of my favorite racetracks. It's such a, a neat place to get around. So... Looking forward to hitting the track in a little bit. All right, we'll open it up for questions for Joey. We'll start up front with uh, Claire. Claire Billing, <coughs> Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. When you signed the extension with Penske, did all the stuff from the past sort of fly through your mind that <coughs> people have started to believe in you in times when you had to reach within yourself, pull it up, and now you know everybody's sort of on the Joey Logano train? Uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice because, um, you know, like you said, Claire, I, I've been through uh you know kind of the down parts of, of the sport and um and, and then now i'm starting to you know obviously we've won a few races this year and uh it's been a lot of fun so um you know to be able to extend my uh relationship with, with team penske that's uh, a dream come true right it's been um the last couple of years have been really good uh, i feel like i've found the, myself a home over there i feel like this 22 team is awesome it's a great team to work with working with todd and um basically everyone at team penske working with brad I feel like uh, all that put together has, you know, been very successful. So uh, it makes sense to uh, try to prolong that as long as possible and um, to be able to uh, uh, get this extension done and be able to focus in on the chase is good. Okay, we'll take our next question from Jay, then come back up to Randy. Uh, Jay Pennell with Fox Sports. You know, you're still, you're still a young guy, but you look at how long you've been in this, in this series and in this sport, you know, do you kind of feel like, you know, even though you're only 24 years old, that you're kind of like a, a, a veteran in this series now, especially with the success that you've had this year? I, I do, actually, um, w which is really cool. You know, that's a, a huge advantage that I have right now. Um, that is that I'm 24 years old uh, with, you know, six six years of experience under my belt. That's that's awesome because no one else can say that right now. Um, you know, the, the rookies coming in aren't much younger than me. Some are the same age as me. Uh so to be able to have that already, that's, that's something special. Because if you look at the way the sport is, typically the peak of their career is, you know, six to, you know, 15 years into their career is usually when they're, uh, you know, they have that experience. Experience pays off in, in, in NASCAR racing more than the age does. So uh, to be able to hit your peak uh, at a younger age, uh, possibly I can prolong my career at, you know, with um, you know a lot more wins uh, a little bit longer. So. Uh, all that hard work's paying off right now. Okay, we'll take our next question from Randy. It's Kansas City Star. What makes the Penske organization, what's clicking right now? You know, as great as they were in, in other series, it, it took them a long time to finally win a cup in 12, and, and, and now all of a sudden you guys are, are doing so well. What, what is it about that organization that, that's been... Uh, there's a lot. You know, um, you asked about what Team Penske, what makes them run well. Uh, it's the people, Right. Um, all the teams have seven posts. All the teams have, you know, wind tunnel time. All the teams have, you know, sims. They all have this stuff, right? Everyone's got the same things, the same tools. It's the people that run the tools and operate them is, is where the difference is. Um, and, and I think having that team chemistry uh, with, between both race teams, the 2 and the 22, I think having it within the 22 team, all of us, the way we work together and the, the attitudes that we have when we get to the racetrack, um, I think we're all on the same page. I think that's important. You know, when you have someone that's way over here and the other team's over here or you guys are pulling apart from each other, uh, that's a recipe for disaster, if you ask me. Um, so making sure we all work well um, and, and the people that uh, we put in the right places and having the right people there uh, is the biggest deal. What about Mr. Penske? Are you talking about him a little bit? What, what's he meant to you? And what, what about his presence? Roger's... Uh, <laughs> You know, I've gotten known for a couple of years now, and uh, see how he how he operates. And um, basically, everything you hear from the outside is true. You know, the the, the professionalism that he has, 
you know, throughout all of racing, but all his businesses, um, the hard work, the ethic that he has uh, to do that um, is amazing. So it's fun just to, to go around and, and listen to things he's got going on. A lot of times, you know, we'll, we start talking about some of the other business ventures he's, he's in and I'm like, wow, that's that's really cool. It's just so outside of, of my box, right? My box is right here, right, racing. And he's got so many other things going on. And to be able to multitask and do all the different things like that and do a good job at it, I, I know I wouldn't be able to do it. So I, I think it's pretty amazing. Okay, we'll take our next question from Lee, then go to Dustin. Lee Spencer, Motorsport.com. Talk a little bit, you know, you talk about the success at Penske and what makes him tick. But when you look at your relationship with Brad, you two are really – teammates and did you ever have that feeling when you were at Gibbs that you had earned the respect of Denny and Kyle while you were there and it was as cohesive because there are times when I don't think the 11 and the 18 are on the same page you know let alone all three but the fact that you and Brad are so close does that just enrich your potential there? Yeah you know like I was saying about te teammates and stuff and it's only you know the two of us right so there's not like there's uh, we don't get along. That's our whole team. That's all Team Penske not getting along, right? So we got to be able to uh, make sure we um, we have a good relationship and uh, able to work great together. That's a, it's a very important thing um, that we need to do. Uh, you know, did, did I have that at Gibbs? That's your question. I, I did at times. Yeah, I, I did. I got along with them. Um, you know, but I think uh, you know you talk about chemistry and being able to just communicate and being at the same level. Uh, as the guys you're racing with on your team, I think that's important. And that's something maybe I didn't have as much over there. Uh, but, you know, I think they, they both were great teammates, um, just in different ways, you know? Okay, Dustin. Dustin Long, MRN.com. Joey, you talked about how strong your team is, and obviously you've had a great season. You, you've had a strong run in the past in the chase. But from your point of view, what makes you – the guy that can win the championship this year, not because of your team, but what about you? What's different? What 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 makes you feel you're prepared? I mean, obviously this is great that you won early, you're advancing to the next round, but everything ramps up and picks up. Uh, you haven't been in this position in this sense before. What makes you think this is your time? Um, a, a lot, you know, and, and you're saying just me, but I'm not doing this on my own, you know, and I think this, this team, uh, the 22 team, has that same attitude. We all work together. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to answer the question if it's just me, because uh, we all got to be able to support each other um, one way or another. I do feel like I'm confident enough to do this. I feel like we're, we're ready. I feel like as a team, we're, we've done what we need to do to get to this point to, to be able to uh, have a shot at it right now. Uh, we got to keep um, plugging away to, to get all the way to Homestead. We got a long ways to go. Uh, we got to keep our heads down and keep, uh, you know, booking along with it. But um, you know, for, for me personally, I, I feel like my head's in the right spot. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, I feel like I'm, we've been attacking these weekends the right way. I feel like Todd and myself have been working together better than ever, and we need to keep doing that. And I think the whole 22 team has been doing it. So um, I know I can't do it on my own, and, and I know I have the guys behind me that, that have the same attitude as me and want it just as bad as me. And uh, that's why I feel like we got a good shot at it. on your shoulders to help support your teammates your, your crew my crew well you know um you know i do what we've been doing you know I, I don't think there's there's anything that we need to change you know we need to do what we do right what we've done throughout this year to get here has been good right we've had a lot of top five finishes we got some wins now um you know that's been working don't reinvent the wheel now that you're in the chase because uh, you know it works uh, maybe just more of the same thing you know more uh you know, working with your team as much as you can, you know, trying to find that a little bit more uh, when you're at the racetrack, whether it's, um, you know, spending more time with your team, trying to figure out the race car and thinking things a little bit deeper and, and trying to understand things a little bit more. You know, it's just basically working harder. <laughs> you know, you think you're working as hard as you can, and then the chase starts and you're like, all right, there's got to be another level in me somewhere. And I think it's just digging down and finding that. And, and that's not just in the race. That's as soon as I, you know, get here at the racetrack throughout the whole week till we get to the next racetrack, um, that's that's how it has to be, I think, to win this championship. I think the the guy that works the hardest is going to have a really good shot at it. Thanks. Any additional questions for Joey? Okay, Kenny and then Kelly. Kenny Bruce with NASCAR.com. Joey, did you get a raise? <laughs> I get a raise. 
<laughs> it was good. <laughs> hey, look, look, compared last year to this year, what's different about your team that you guys are able to to get the wins this year compared to last year? What's different? Yeah. A, a year of experience together. Um, you know, I look at what we did last year. Um, you know, we went through a lot of adversity last year from really the beginning of the season all the way uh, really to halfway point of the season. Uh, we had a lot of drama. We had uh, a lot of new guys on the team. We had a new car chief, a new engineer, a new shock guy. Uh, you know, we had a lot of new people, a new driver, obviously. Um, so all of us gelling together, that took time uh, to figure that out. It took some time for, for Todd and myself to understand each other and figure out what we needed at each racetrack. We had to go through that learning curve. And um, by the halfway point in the year, when we started going to these racetracks a second time, we had a notebook. Uh, we were able to start running better, right? We, we weren't to the caliber we are right now, um, but we were running better. And, and we've gone into this season basically the same way, right? We've got a couple races under our belt now, and we're going into these things for the third, fourth time. Uh, and we're going, you know, we're just going off our notebook. Uh, and I think our race cars have gotten faster too. You know, I think uh, Team Penske's done a great job on, on bringing some really fast race cars uh, to the racetrack. And I think just the more we all understand each other, the more um, I'm able to understand what Brad wants in his car and why I can't run certain things that he's running. And, and that you know what I mean? It just doesn't work for me. And, and understanding that that difference between the two cars at each racetrack, all that stuff, uh, kind of put together, I think, is what made us run um, better this year compared to last. Okay, we'll take our next question from Kelly. Raise your hand, Kelly. We'll get a mic to you. Kelly Crandall from popularspeed.com. Joey, have you had a moment to sit and reflect on how different your life and your career has been from three, four years ago to <laughs> searching for comfort, consistency, and now your top five multiple wins in a season and you're contending for a championship last year and this year? Um. I, to answer your question, no, I haven't had a minute to sit down and think about it because uh, I, I live in the moment. I just keep going with it. And, um, you know, looking back at it some, yeah, it is, uh, it is cool because, you know, you look a few years back, um, you know, only a couple years ago, I, I really didn't have a job. You know what I mean? Like, it was like, oh, boy, what am I going to do? Like, am I going to race the rest of my life? Am I going to, what? Am, like, what's plan B? You know, and, and all of a sudden now... Uh, uh, I'm sitting in a good position. I got a uh, you know, multi-year deal that I'm going to be racing for a while. I'm winning races. We got a lot of top fives. Uh, you know, If you told me all this was going to happen a couple years ago, I'd say, yeah, that's nice. But I don't know if that will happen, but it sounds really good. And um, But that hard work's paying off now. You know, like you said, you talked about the experience that I got from all that. and um, I wouldn't trade any of that for the world. You know, I, I love that I went through uh, each and every experience that I've gone through because it's what shaped me to who I am and made me the driver and the person that, that I am now. So um, I'm proud that I went through all of it. It was hard, but um, would I think that I'd be sitting here a couple years ago get, saying what I'm saying right now? Probably not, but uh, I'm going to enjoy the ride while I can, that's for sure. All right, we'll take final question, Bob. Uh, Bob Parker, Sporting News. Do you feel that, how much did... Did your performance, you feel, this year kind of led to uh, the contract extension? I mean, you had made the chase once. Do you, were they waiting to see uh, if you would make it again? And then also just how much relief is it to know you're kind of set for three or four years and not have to stress over your future? Um, you know, I, I'm sure, uh, you know, I'm sure, you know, Roger and Walt, they probably, um, you know, after last year, uh, wanted to make sure that we ran um, well again this year, right? Because last year was kind of the first year that I kind of had that, um, you know, some call it a breakout season. We were able to uh, win a race and get in the chase, finish eighth in points. Like, okay, that's great. Let's see if we can do that again and make sure it's not like a one-year wonder, right? So uh, I'm assuming this. I don't know this. But, uh, you know, when they came to me uh, earlier this year about it, I think that's um, as we we're running well on the racetrack and things are going good. And I think uh, we wanted to secure, um, you know, a lot of our uh, – partnerships and a lot of uh and just kind of keep make sure we have what we have uh for a long time right and keep that uh, that team together and, and making sure we're doing what we're doing so um you know i think at that point that was kind of the the moment and uh i was all about it <laughs> it didn't take much to convince me <laughs> joey thank you very much for your time this morning and uh congratulations again on your win and good luck this right. weekend thank you guys